Hey there, my name is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about those little badges that are on Parler. And now you might be saying, what is Parler? Parler is a new social media platform that a lot of people are moving over to because it's uncensored. You are welcome to share your views, your opinions, and your thoughts, and you will be not be shut down or removed from the platform based on that. They do have some terms and conditions and things like that, which you do need to read like any other platform. But while I was doing my video the other day, and I've got the link up here where I talk about what par Parler is, and then I give you a little tutorial so you can explore it and see if it's something that you would want to join. But as I was doing that, I noticed a lot of people had these different colored badges next to their names. So I did a little bit of research and that's what our video is about today. What are those badges? And this is the one thing that is different besides being uncensored, but you can earn a badge and get your, your, um, yourself verified on the platform. So we're going to talk about that today. What are all those different badges and what do they mean? <laughs> I wanted to start out taking you back to my Parlor account for my desktop view. So just in case you don't know what Parlor is and you, you're not really sure how to navigate it, I did do a video a couple days ago. I'll put the link above again so that you can go back and watch that. What do we want to talk about today are these little badges that are next to people's names. This is Sean Han Hannity and he has this yellow badge. Um, if I scroll down in people who I have an opportunity to follow, some of them already have these badges. Jim Jordan, Sydney, I don't know who's, oh, Sydney Powell, um, Kim, Kim Guilfoyle, Sean Hannity, CPAC. So why do they have that yellow badge? What does it mean? And that's what I want to go over today. There are actually five different badges and you can have a badge next to your name. So stick around. I'm going to take it and show you five different badges that you can earn on Parlor. The first badge that I want to go over is the yellow one, since that's the one I was pointing out, and that's the one that got my attention, actually. This is called the Verified Influencer Badge. Verified influencers are users with a large following who run the risk of being impersonated. So these badges are here to protect the user's authenticity. How cool is that? They have to get verified to say, yes, I'm Sean Hannity and I'm going to prove it. And I'm going to show you how we're going to go through the steps as well as how somebody can get verified and prove that it's them. So somebody else can't come onto the site and say that they're Sean Hannity and then make statements that he might not make. So I think this is an awesome idea. It gives the site a lot of credibility. The blue one, which I saw a little bit ago, there was one person that had one. It's called the Parlor Media Partner Badge. Parlor partners use the Parlor commenting plugin to import all articles, content, and comments from their website community. So comments on their posts are mirrored between their website and Parlor. So you can't have a website um, maybe saying you stand for one thing and then try to come over here and make comments that contradict what you say on your website. So if you stand for something and you have an opinion, you're going to make comments things are going to be consistent. You can't come in here and sabotage the, the site. The next one is the Parlor Affiliate. The Parlor Affiliate Publishers Permit. Publishers permit par Parlor to auto post articles directly from their website. So it could possibly be somebody that might have a website, that they have a blog, maybe they talk a lot about a certain topic. So they're giving Parlor the ability to go in and just automatically take some articles off of there if they would like. They're giving them that permission. So again, if you're on the up and up, you have no problem with that. But you have to verify and request that badge be put there. Here's another one. This is um, one that you may want. It's called the private account badge. Private accounts will restrict their profile to users they do not approve for follow requests. So you may have a list of people that you might not want to follow you. You can block them and then you have that private account badge. Now this is the one that you may be interested in. Verified real user badge. The real users are verified unique people in the Parlor network. It doesn't mean that the user who they claim to be is real, it just means that they're not bots. So if I faked my identification and said that I was Susie Smith, the system doesn't know that I'm not really Susie Smith because I'm going to show you how to get it verified. I could get Susie Smith's driver's license and verify that that's who I'm at. So 
parlor is not going to say, yes, I guarantee that this is Susie Smith, but I will say it's not a bot. So just remember that. Now, how do you get verified? I'm going to pull this up just so you can see the steps. There's three steps to get verified. I'm going to go through those on my desktop, but I want to emphasize to you that you cannot do this process on your desktop because it involves taking a picture of your ID. So you ha you can use your camera, but what you're going to do is go up here in the top left hand corner and you're going to hit those three little bars and then you're going to go to user I verification. And then you are going to give them a picture of the front of your driver's license, the back of your driver's license and a selfie. And then you're going to verify. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's going to give you more credibility on the site. So let's go back to the desktop and I'll show you what that looks like from there. I'm going to go up here to this top left hand corner and it says right here, verification. And then that's what it looks like front of your ID, back of your ID, and then a selfie and then start the verification. Like I said, you cannot do this on your desktop. You have to do it with your camera and let's go back to the main page. Um, another thing I like about it too, it keeps on updating. And as you can see, more and more people are getting verified. Tra Travis Tritt, look, lots of people are coming on. Sarah Gonzalez and some people I don't know, but um, pretty cool. I'm trying to find another color badge. Most of these are influencers on here. And there's a red one, which that person or, or site just verified themselves that they're real. And then, like I said, the yellow one is a, is an influencer. Earlier, I saw a blue one, but this, they're coming in so fast that I'm losing them. You can follow people from here just by clicking like that and then unclick it if you don't want to. It's that simple. So I like that too, that you can just um, do that. Um, from your profile page, I did show this the other day. I'm going to go back to my profile page. Um, you can put a picture here. I just haven't done it yet. When you want to um, see who's who you're following, let's say I followed a few people and I'm like, okay, I got a little out of control. I just wanted to follow some people. You can click that, scroll down, and then you can unfollow them. So this is kind of similar to Twitter or to Instagram, actually. You can just unfollow people if you want to. Okay, so let's say just click it and it will say that you're unfollowing them. And then the same thing with your followers, um, people that are following you, you can see who they are and see that right there. And you can follow them back if you want to. I hope that was helpful for you and that you go ahead over there and sign up. It's, um, it's fun to have new things. I had to share this at the end. I videotaped this introduction probably about 15 times. One, I kept forgetting to look at the, the camera, but all my friends, different people kept on sending um, iMessages and when you're videotaping with your camera, it pops up on the screen. So I, I just want to share that. Sometimes we watch videos and we think, you know, other people are making these videos and they're, and they seem so easy and, and, you know, perfect. Mine aren't perfect, but some of them look perfect, but you know, it kind of gets discouraging if you're new. And I just want to tell you that there's all kinds of stuff going on in the background. Someday I want to make a video about that. Like have other people share, what are some crazy things that go on in the background? And, and we can show you that there's nobody that's out there that's perfect, but back to the topic, um, check it out, check out Parlor. go in. And if you want to, um, follow me, feel free to, I am not on there a lot yet. Like I said, I just got started, but go ahead and um, follow me and I'll follow you so we can all build up our, our um, friends on there and build up a community. Have a good one. And again, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I will see you on the next video.